Do you know who these people are? That was the question the saint asked to over 300 students in a survey last week. And the results showed there is still a lack of recognition about who our Sabs are and what they do. Last year, 46% of students could recognise President Freddie Ford, but only 26% could recognise this year's President, Chloe Hill, with the same percentage knowing what she did. The other Sabs also fared worse than last year, with 21% recognising DoRep, Teddy Woodhouse, and 19% knowing Dan Palmer was Director of Events and Services. Kelsey Gold was the least known Sab, with only 14% recognising her, and just 10% knowing what her job as DOSDA entailed. These figures come despite the wide-ranging social media presence of the Sabs, which this year also included Facebook accounts. And in spite of the new union website, the Sab blog had also reduced in popularity, with 18% of students we asked having heard about it, and 15% having read it. I guess it's comforting for us in the sense that we aren't particularly known because we don't see ourselves as being particularly extraordinary students. Any student can be a Sab if they have the passion to do it. Um, and you don't need to be popular, you don't need to necessarily be well liked, you just have to have great ideas. And I think that is what students care about. I mean, we have the numbers we care about and the things we see in our Students Association prove that students do care about what happens in this building. We have um, the highest turnout of any UK HEI two years running. Uh, we have um, un, like unprecedented class rep election participation. And the race I ran in last year in IR honours, there were five candidates. This year, there are 17. We had over 150 Freshers' Week events and activities all throughout this town. Um, we have, I think, the exact same number of affiliate societies, each of them going with their own projects and doing their own things. And we're here to support that, and we're more than happy to support that in every single way. More on this story and many others in the latest issue of The Saint. This is Henry Legg reporting for The Saint.